Math is simpler than you think. Welcome to Math with Hembo. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Math with Hembo. In this session, we're going to cover measurements. When it comes to measurements, metric is the simplest form. Here, I have laid out a chart, but let me show you how it works. M stands for meter, which measures the length of things, distance. G is for grams, measuring weight. And L is for liter, which measures volume. When it comes to setting this up, what I, I'm going to use M or meter as my unit of measure and show you how it gets done. If you get this done, everything is pretty straightforward. And I'll explain a little bit later. Here, with the meter, I build two dams, DAM and DM. Once you get that, car travels, if you have ever been in Canada or anywhere else in the world, except Britain and US, you drive at kilometers per hour. Then you get your hectometer. Here on the right side, you get your centimeter, and then you get your M&Ms or millimeter. Once you have this set up, all you have to do is change the last letter with any of the standard unit of measure that you want to use for your metric measurements. Now, to solve it, give you an example. I am 180 centimeters tall. If I want to convert that into meters, all I need to do is locate the given and go to the one I want to convert to. So here I'm making two jumps to the left. If I'm making two jumps to the left, all you have to do is for 180 is locate the decimal, which is like this, 180 without decimal or 180 with the decimal, if you know money, works like this. So make two jumps to the left and it just becomes 1.8 meters. Another way to do it, to give you an example, if I change the M to gram. So let's say I have 50 grams. Now, what is that as a milligram? So to go from gram to milligram here, just simply just follow the thing, three to the right. So 50, three jumps to the right, gives me Five zero, and then three cups gives me three zeros. And now, that's what I get. And that's how you do metric measurements. When it comes to imperial measurement, it's a totally different ball game. So in this case, I have inches, feet, yard, and mile. There are 12 inches to a foot, three feet to a yard, and 1,760 yards to a mile. For the weight, ounces to pounds takes 16 ounces. So LB looks like 16. I hope that triggers you to remember that LB, ounces, 16 ounces. As for pound to ton, there are 2,000. And when it comes to volume, fluid ounces to cup, there are eight of them. Cups to pint is two. Two pints to a quart and four quarts to a gallon. For the conversion, all you have to do is when you're stepping down, multiply by the number in front of each step. Here, mile to yard is times it by 1760. Yard to feet, multiply by three. Feet to inches, multiply by 12. Same applies when it comes to the weight. Ton to pounds, multiply by 2000. And pound to ounces, multiply by 16. Similarly here, gallon to quart, multiply by four. Quart to pint, multiply by two. Pint to cup, multiply by two. And cup to fluid ounces, multiply by eight. If we're doing the other way, so for example, we're going from inches to feet. Reverse direction basically means do the opposite operation on multiplication, which is divide. Divide by 12. Feet to yard, divide by three and yard to mile, divide by 1760. Similarly here, ounces to pound, divide by 16, and pound to ton, divide by 2000. Same thing for fluid ounces. Divide, if you're converting fluid ounces to a cup, by eight. Cups to a pint, by two. Pint to a quart, by two. And quart to a gallon, by four. So. If I have, for example, five pounds of meat, what is that in terms of ounces? 
All you have to do is take the pound to ounce conversion. So do five times 16, and that should give you 80 ounces. If you have a gallon, how many pints have you got? Well, multiply by four, and then quart to pint, multiply by two. So it says essentially one times four times two gives you eight pints. Now that you know how to do conversions in metric and imperial measurements, we can take on the next challenge together.